this morning I woke up feeling good. Why? Because today's my birthday. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And that is something that I think is worth celebrating and being happy about. But then I came across a video that uh, made me very sad and disappointed. And I won't even say upset because at this point, I'm not surprised. But this future of this generation or the future of generations to come and just even this current generation of uh, people growing up is just sad because the state of this world is becoming more and more of a uh, a hellhole, if you will. As the years have progressed, you get a lot more kids growing up that want to be influencers, social media uh, posters. They want to be like their favorite YouTubers, their live IRL streamers. And I'm going to be honest, there is nothing inherently wrong with that to an extent. I think that everyone has the right to be able to want to aspire to be anything. At one point, people thought that uh, in my time growing up, that being a YouTuber was the dumbest thing in the world. You want to be a YouTuber? That's not going to make you any money. And then clearly, if you look now, you can make a pretty hefty penny off it. Being a YouTuber isn't something that you can just scoff at. But there needs to be a high level of understanding that that that's a dream really to be a youtuber to be any form of a, a social following to be an influencer if you will i hate the term but to be an influencer that's almost unlikely you more or less have to have 100 points in your luck stat in order to actually have a chance of maybe getting somewhere in that realm and actually having a livable career and i believe that if you have that understanding then it's fine to have those dreams and aspirations while still trying to work towards something that could be potentially more sustainable i know in this day and age with ai and everything happening that's a lot harder to say because a lot of jobs are slowly going away but at least doing something else other than trying to be an aspiring youtuber streamer or whatever the case might be that's a pipeline dream whereas maybe getting a trade job or something is a, at least a more of a, a possible chance where you can at least have reoccurring income that you know is going to come in I, hopefully that makes sense anyways the reason i'm making this video is because i came across something today that just it, it, it was just sad like normally watching something like this would upset me but the future generations are fucked. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. You got a kid who's skipping elementary school to go and be a piece of shit because he's seen all his other favorite streamers who are also pieces of shit do the same thing and be a nuisance to people out in public. And so he decided to go walk by and put his hands in some random lady's food. Why? I couldn't tell you. Honestly, just watching the first couple seconds of this clip shows you so many things that are just wrong right off the bat. First of all, what's an elementary kid doing out of school? Second of all, why are they IRL streaming? Third of all, as others have pointed out, where are his parents? I would be livid if I found out my kid was somehow live streaming, especially IRL streaming randomly, and then on top of that, being a piece of shit to a whole bunch of people over the internet. That is fucking insane. I've always lived with this belief that parents should always be held responsible for their kids' actions because at the end of the day, that phone, whatever he's streaming with, that wasn't something that he bought himself. There's no shot. His parents had to fund that in some way, shape, or form. His parents should have, they should know where he's at. Again, this is a kid that is, should be in school. He's an elementary student. There's no reason why he should be IRL streaming. Instead of fucking having a camera on you doing fucking pieces of shit acts, you should be having your head in a fucking book. Something that is actually meaningful and useful and could contribute to society instead of this dog shit. What the fuck? Put your hand in my food again, and I'm throwing all of your phones. Hey, you're not touching our phone. Don't put your don't put your hand in my food again. Do not do that. You don't do that to people. Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. You're a nobody. It's it's a live stream. You can't stop it. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? That is by far my favorite part of this video. Is at first the kid is like, "Who are you?" and then she like, "Oh, who the fuck are you?" Like. <laughs> these fucking nuisance and pests and, and i know as charlie said in his video i don't give a fuck either about roasting a fucking kid being a piece of shit that wants to put himself on the internet and, and wants to do things like this because the only way to learn is having shit like this be put out there and being clowned and roasted they're being soft to me like oh well maybe they'll learn as time progresses no this is a piece of shit act it needs to be condemned people need to fucking roast and clown this shit and hopefully his parents will sit there and see that this shit gained traction and they will actually give him fucking punishment but going back to the video 
I just found it so funny that the kid is sitting there saying, oh, who the fuck are you? And then she says the same thing back because I'm like, bro, ain't no way. Like, the kid is acting like he's some top-tier celebrity, like he's Snoop Dogg walking around town and everybody knows who he is. Bro, no one, know, no one knows who the fuck you are other than the fact that you're being a nuisance and that you're harassing people out in public. That's literally all you're doing. You are not a celebrity. You are a nuisance. That is it. Your only fame, your only clout is just because you're bothering people. That is literally it. No one knows you because you contribute anything meaningful to society or that you make good content. It's not because of any of that. No one even knows who you are to begin with other than because of this shit going viral. That is literally it. And if you think that this is your way of getting good uh, views and press and, and you're, you're, you're rising up in fame, you're getting the wrong idea, buddy. Nobody, this shit ain't popping off for good reasons. It's popping off because you're a piece of shit. Yo, give me the phone. Now that's where the clip ends with him trying to act like he's hot shit and ready to throw hands and that he's like, oh, what the fuck you gonna do? Oh yeah, you, you ain't gonna do shit. Hey, shut the fuck up. You ain't gonna do nothing to me, dog. Man, shut the fuck up. You ain't gonna do shit either. <laughs> like, let's be real here, right? You're acting, you're trying to act a tough game like you're actually gonna do something when in reality you're not. And as Charlie pointed out in his video, the lady can't really do anything either because the second she puts hands on him, then she's gonna be the one that gets in trouble. As everyone has pointed out, he's using his age as a defense mechanism so that no one could put hands on him or fight him, which is ultimately scummy in its own right. It's honestly really sad to see current and future generations growing up thinking that making content like this is actually good because they see a lot of piece of shit streamers that happen to gain notoriety and they have some form of a following and they can't really tell the difference between what is good content and bad content. They just see that, oh, this person's famous and they're doing a lot of things that I find funny because I don't understand the concept of morality and understanding what's good and what isn't. And so because because this streamer is clearly an adult and they're getting away with it and they're having fun. Clearly it must be all right to do. What's the harm in it when in reality they are harassing people and they're being pieces of shit and that's literally all they are and they just happen to be in a position where they can get away with it and not be punished for it. That is all it is. But all kids see when they see content like that is thinking, oh, I, I could probably do that. That's, that's pretty funny. What if I did the same exact thing and put it online? People are gonna be laughing. This is gonna be hilarious. Me and my friends already find this funny. Just imagine everybody else once they see it. They, so they're gonna find it funny when in reality no that's not the case and again as i said at the beginning of this video i think parents should always be held responsible as well too for actions like this because again why aren't you monitoring your kids what, what again the motherfucker should be in elementary school he should be in fucking studying he shouldn't be out there IRL streaming. It's already dangerous as it is to IRL stream as an adult. But to now do it as a fucking elementary kid, you're putting yourself, you're literally putting yourself in harm's way. You are asking for something bad to happen at that point. But again, they don't understand that. And th that's where it is for the parents to be actual adults. And instead of just throwing an iPad at them and letting them watch their favorite streamers and being like, oh shit, oh, I want to be like that. And then they go start doing shit like that and say, all right, have fun, go, go do whatever. We don't want to monitor you. And then most motherfuckers like that go outside and start doing streams like that instead of having shit like that happen actually be a proper parent it's, it's, it's come on man just put some effort and i know some people are going to say well it can't be all the parents fault some of it's just the kid and that's what he likes to, you know i'm like no it, it comes to parenting if you're a good parent you can sit there and at least do the minimum to make sure that your kid at least is not streaming themselves out to the fucking world. Like at that point, it's the bare minimum. It's not hard to prevent something like that, at least to some extent. Again, the kid, it's not like the kid, well, I mean, I don't know, maybe they got boatloads of money that they inherited and they just got a, a piggy bank full of hundreds of dollar bills just waiting to be spent. But I'm pretty sure that either he got it from his friends, which I don't, Think that's 100 percent the truth i think it's more his parents bought him a phone and of course every fucking kid now has a smartphone they got an iphone or android smartphone and then they're filming themselves doing random different shit and posting it online because a lot of parents don't want to monitor what their kids are doing and so then you see all this random shit that gets posted online when in reality you shouldn't even be there to begin with again i don't think it's inherently bad to want to be a uh, a streamer or a youtuber or any of that growing up i think those are fine aspirations to have it's just like anything else but the problem comes when those dreams and aspirations that kids have is because they want to be like pieces of shit streamers or youtubers or people who are just a menace to society and don't contribute anything that's when it becomes an honest problem because then they're looking up to people who don't actually contribute anything and aren't actually good role models to have I don't think that any YouTubers are actually good role models in the sense of you should be looking up to them as a way to find your your moral compass 
this and understand what's right and what's wrong. I think YouTubers are great to watch. They're fine and leave it at that. But no, don't look up to them and be like, oh, I want to be like this YouTuber one day. I, I, I don't think that that's the best way to go about it. But that's just my personal opinion as well, too. Anyways, I just want to talk about this because it's sad to see shit like this and understand that this is pretty much the, the current landscape of social media and clout farming. And this is what kids are wanting to do instead of wanting to try and be more like youtubers or just content creators who try and break the barriers and try and create creative and innovative content and things that are actually contributing to, to society it's i wish kids would be looking at more to youtubers and people and influencers like that than all the people who do just a bunch of negative things but i also understand that social media in general and algorithms like promote negative content and so if that's what's going to be promoted then of course people growing up are going to see content like that and think that oh well this is popping off this is great i need to make content like that too when in reality no you shouldn't make it anyway she made this far into the video consider giving a like subscribe to the channel let me comment what you think have a great day yeah